10 tonight. Have you ever wondered how businesses get on highway exit signs? Well, it can come down to the luck of the draw. And with all these new businesses popping up in the basin, some might just have to cross their fingers to get picked out of a hat. Local 2's Tyler Westner looked into that process today. He's live in the control room for us tonight. Tyler? Stephanie, the new HEB opened recently along Loop 250 in Midland, and they were added to the sign quickly. Now there's a new business opening up nearby, wanting to follow in the grocery store's footsteps. These signs along highways, a common sight for many, but how do businesses get on there? Companies apply with Lone Star logos and signs, an Austin-based company used by TxDOT. If we end up with more businesses interested than we have based on signs, we will hold a lottery. And that's basically just luck of the draw. We put everybody's name in a hat, and it's a selection process that way. Kara Connell represents the Odessa District for Lone Star, and she says businesses start by applying online. Then after the winners are drawn, they sign a lease agreement and pay for their spot on the sign. The lowest range is $900 annually for a mainline sign, and the most expensive is $3,000 annually for a mainline sign. One of those new businesses looking to get on a sign here locally, Pot Belly Sandwich Shop in Midland, which opens a week from Tuesday. I think it's pretty important here in Midland. Um, I think it's convenience. People are all about convenience. So knowing that we're here, it's just one more reminder like, hey, in a mile, go ahead and get off here. Assistant GM for the new Midland location, Brittany Medcalf, says they want to be on one of those signs, not only for Midlanders, but for people visiting the tall city as well. It's just one more step in letting people know, even people just traveling through Midland that necessarily don't come through here all the time. It's just one more sign to remind them, especially since we are new to the community. Now, Connell says for those businesses not picked in the lottery, they go on a waiting list until new spots are opened up again. Live in the control room, Tyler Westner, Local 2 News. All right, Tyler, thanks for that. Look forward to that new restaurant opening. From signage.